What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a big, big build. It's a Stormclaw build, guys, for you. I think there's been a few other people that have done this build, so I build, so I do not want to take uh, full credit for this build. Big shout out to Screamheart uh, and Demon for helping me with this build. This build is absolutely insane. It's really, really cool, and it's so much different than any other builds, but it's a basic attack build in Diablo 4 where we're going to be using claw as our main attack and that's the only thing that we're going to do so let's break down everything that you need for the build and how to play it and then we're going to showcase it a little bit so when it comes to the build we're only going to be using our basic attack we're going to be in grizzly rage form almost all the time and we have some really nice defensive stats here for our attack speed so with this you want to take max points in claw and storm strike because of our weapon that we'll get into later which is going to allow you to be hitting with both of these at the same time which makes it really really powerful so we max those out and then we go into a uh, windstorm strike so it changes it against additional enemies then we go into wild claw so we have a chance to attack twice with these which is makes it even faster this build really relies on attack speed next we come down because we're running no core skills we're doing uh, predatory instinct max and then we're doing for uh, crit strike and then we're doing max at the Gaiot for more movement speed uh, we're always going to be in werewolf form so we don't worry about the persist after we're always going to have the movement speed then we're going to come down and take almost every defensive skill in the game. We have Earth and Bulwark for Fortify, which is really, really good because we need a shield. Uh, Cyclone Armor up to Preserving Cyclone Armor, not only for the passive damage reduction, but just for some increased knockback as well as to slow the enemy down, uh, which is really, really good for our damage effects. Uh, and it's also good if you're getting body blocked in any way. Next, we come down and take Bloody Howl, which is really, really powerful because we're going to get a nice little potion out of this for 26.8% of our life and then increasing our attack speed by 15%, which is just really strong. Then we're taking one point in Ancestral Fortitude only to get to here to gain uh, max points in Vigilance, which gives us 50% damage reduction for six seconds on a defensive skill. We have three. Absolutely fantastic. We skip the Companions and we come down to Wraith skills or Wrath skills, excuse me. We're taking Hurricane up into Savage Hurricane for damage reduction as well as slowing enemies down. This is very, very powerful to help trigger our critical strikes as well as our lucky hit in this build because that way we get all of our lucky hit stuff on our skills. Then we're doing one point elemental exposure, one point in charged atmosphere, three points in electrical shock to deal more damage uh, when enemies are mobilized, which should happen all the time with Storm Strike. And then we have Bad Omen, so on a lucky hit against uh, damage against Vulnerable, Immobilized, or Stunned, they get an extra Lightning Bolt that does some more damage, which is really cool. Then we take one point Neurotoxin, three points and 30% uh, increased critical strike damage against Poison Enemies, which is always going to happen. Three points in Toxic Claws here for Werewolf Skills deal more damage over uh, Poison. However, you could take this away, drop this down, and maybe do like Natural Disaster or put more points into here if you really really wanted to just drop this down to 12 seconds uh, anything like that is really really strong you don't necessarily need the additional poison damage it just helps kill them faster then we come down and take defiance where we deal uh, more damage against elites which all of our skills are nature magic then of course we're taking grizzly rage for unstoppable uh, the increased damage reduction as well as movement speed which we have on our items and then we have unstoppable and grizzly rage and then we get fortified this helps keeps our shields up and then for our key passive, we're taking Lupine, Lupine Ferocity. Every six werewolf hit critically strikes and deals 60% increased damage. We're always going to be doing nothing but werewolf attacks. And we attack so fast, this is going to trigger all the time. Uh, into our Spirit Boons, we're taking Awareness for damage reduction against elites. Swooping attacks for attack speed. However, if you don't want the additional attack speed, you could take Avian Wrath for more damage. Uh, then we have Calamity to extend the duration of Grizzly Rage. And then we're going to do uh misogynist or massagetist for critical strikes to heal us and then calm before the storm nature's skills on a lucky hit have a chance to drop the cooldown of this by two seconds each time if you don't want to use this one and you feel like you have enough sustain then you could do overload which is really cool on a lucky hit the damage has a chance to cause a static discharge dealing more damage to everything i actually haven't tested it with that so let's do this because i think i'm as healthy as possible because you're always going to be popping blood howl for more uh for like a, a pre like a potion so that's really good now let's get into our gear here and everything that you need for the build so this build requires a few items you're going to need tempest roar because tempest roar has storm skills are now werewolf skills 
Uh, so that way all of our storm skills here are gonna always be active once we pop Grizzly Rage, which is important. Mad Wolf's Glee for Werewolf Form gives us two more ranks in all our Werewolf skills, which is all of our storm skills as well. I am doing uh, Conceited Gauntlets, so that way we deal more damage while we have a barrier, which pairs excellently with Temetry. So effects that heal us beyond 100% give us a barrier. Also, Earth and Bulwark gives us a barrier, so this should always be up. Then I have Storm Shifter's Doom, which while Hurricane is active, we gain two more ranks into our uh, Werewolf skills or Shapeshifting skills. Then, of course, you cannot do this without Great Stone of Crone. Claws, also a Storm skill, and cast Storm Strike at the same time, which is why you do not see it on our hotbar, because Claw casts both at the same time. Then we have Rapid Amulet, maxed out. You need this for the attack speed on our core skills. Then we have uh, Grizzly Rage increased by four seconds. We don't really need the necessarily increased um, seconds on here, but it's more important to have the crit damage on here every time we do it by 10%, which is huge. And then we have Dire Wolf Circle, which now shape shifts us into a Dire Werewolf, increases our movement speed and reduces the Spear cost reduction. We don't need Spear's cost reduction, but we just need the movement speed. This just puts us in there and makes us a Dire Werewolf instead of Wear Bear. So that is the gear, guys. We'll go over the um, Paragon board really, really quickly. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this because these are very in-depth, but the link will be down in the description. So we have Werewolf for more damage in Werewolf form. Hide Malice, while three or more enemies are poisoned, they take uh, increased damage, which everything's going to be increased damage. We got Overturn for more damage against poison. We have uh, Exploit for making enemies vulnerable, and then we deal more damage against them. Sinking Fangs for more damage against poison enemies. We have Thunderstruck for more damage against vulnerable or immobilized, which should always be happening. Uh, Tempest for more crit strike damage and vulnerable damage. Then we have uh, Undaunted for more damage as we're fortified. Uh, Shapeshifter for more damage. Then we have uh, Nimble for more attack speed. Then we have Courage for maximum life and willpower. This one's just kind of whatever. Then we have uh, Territorial for more damage up close. We're always going to be in melee. Then we have Nature's Will, more magic skill damage and willpower. Constricting, uh, constricting Tendrils, so on a lucky hit, we have a chance to immobilize them, which helps us, and poison them, which allows to trigger all of our other bonuses. Then we have Devastation for more nature magic damage and damage against elites. And then last but not least, we have say, Superiority for more damage against crowd control. Once we finish out our Paragon board, guys, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna take some more, but this is up to 93. So that is it. Let's go in here real quick and just showcase the build. It's very, very simple to play. Okay, so the build plays pretty, pretty simple, guys. Yeah, big shout out to Demon and Screamheart for the build, guys. This is absolutely amazing. So we're not going to go through the entire dungeon, but I'm going to showcase how this works. So you want to pop Hurricane, pop Grizzly Rage, pop Cyclone Armor. When you're in danger, need help. Let's find some elites just to showcase. We're going to pull some stuff. You're going to pop Bloody Howl always. Get Hurricane going. Pop Grizzly Rage, and you're just going to melee attack. It's going to trigger everything that you can. Keep ready. popping uh, Bloody Howl for the potion. And it should slap everything that you come across. Apparently, there's a huge bug right now uh, on melee attacking for some reason. But the build is very, very fast. You deal some pretty good damage. I will say that with how fast the build is... It's really, really cool. I don't think that this build is very good in groups at all, as I've tested with my team. And the lack of Unstoppable is really, really bad as well. But the build is very, very cool and unique. I think it's a different approach to what we've seen in builds so far in Diablo 4, and I think it's very, very cool. It can definitely slap when you have Grizzly Rage active along with Hurricane. Those are the two key skills that you need to pop but otherwise the build is is pretty fun it's fast you have mobility you have good shield damage now i will tell you guys that if you want to swap something out and you don't want the additional uh damage while barriers active you can come in here and add this which on a lucky hit has a chance to deal lightning damage to overload the target for more damage so we'll showcase that so you guys can see what that looks like uh, let's pull some enemies here let's pop this barrier can we find an elite real quick just pull all these enemies so you guys can see boom drop this and then you got the additional lightning damage which is just really strong very very cool but you can see that the build does have some limitations uh, but it does absolutely slap in some ways like it, it's really cool 
it's kind of amazing that you have a a, uh, a a build that just uses basic attacks and it can be like somewhat strong in Diablo 4 so that is the build guys it's very very cool I think it's I think it's just different and I think it's unique in those ways um, and then as far as our gems we have the god dang it I never look at my menu I swear I'm gonna die in hardcore because of that I swear it all right so we got the orange ones in there for more basic skill damage and then we have the emeralds in there or not emeralds the blue ones what's the topazes it's not even the topaz it's the sapphires for damage reduction while fortified which should always be happening so yeah guys that is the build like the video comment down below tell me what you guys think this is a really really cool and different build however i still think pulverize and tornado are stronger but this is really really cool and unique and i think it's different so uh thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace